serving as our color guard tonight. Nicholas Carrico has been accepted into the United States Air Force. And Nicholas Karnczak has been accepted into the United States Army. Anthony Lumia cannot be with us tonight because he was required to report to the Air Force Academy as a first year cadet. We acknowledge and salute their tremendous commitment and thank them for their service to our great country. We are pleased to announce that the introductory portions of this commencement will be signed by the following seniors, and I invite them Brendan Bronach, Lauren Getz. Marissa Gambali, Amanda Gerard, Tyler Iwitiko, and Hap Schwartz. Suarez, I'm sorry. Please come forward. We ask everyone to join our students in standing and take a moment to honor all of our brave men and women of the Air Forces stationed around the world, protecting our freedoms and our way of life by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as we invite you to express our national pride by the playing of the Star Spangled Banner by the Kings Park High School Band under the direction of Mr. Paul Eager.
Please be seated. At this time, I wish to to uh, well to. Sorry about that. Best late plans. Thank you. At this time, I wish to remember two outstanding educators who our high school unfortunately lost all too soon this year. Dr. Karen Lesser, our beloved and outstanding principal, whose exemplary leadership was a model for all to emulate and admire, and Ms. Jennifer Isaacson Padanostro, a gifted, caring, student-centered guidance counselor who supported her council leads in a way that inspired them to excel. Unfortunately, we recently lost a wonderful member of the senior class, Miss Isabel Corella. Izzy was a multi-talented student who excelled in the classroom and in theater, taken from us much too soon. We recognize her many contributions to our school. To one of these great individuals, we have reserved seats in their honor on the dais and in the graduate seating area. I now ask all to stand for a moment of silence in memory of their contributions to our school. Please stand. Thank you. Please be seated. The following musical piece, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, will be sung by Maya Smith and Kendall Danley, accompanied by Kira Johnson on violin. This and an ensuing poem, which you have in your program, written by student Aesop Fung, and will be read by Chloe Dunn, Natalie Crispino, and Sienna Bertman. These are dedicated to Isabel Izzy Corella. Maya?
That was beautiful. If we can now have Sienna, Chloe, and Natalie come to the microphone. to Izzy Carrall. She was yellow. Not in the way that she wore the color a lot. Or she was yellow toned in her skin. But she was undeniably, irrefutably yellow. When you look at her, you couldn't help but think of yellow. A sunflower in a warm field, a glass of lemonade on a hot day. When she walked into her room, it brightened, like the sun rising every morning to say hello. Forgiving, a smile that drew you in like a child to a mother, a beautiful smile, a yellow smile. When the sun sets and the day becomes night, what happens then? Where does the yellow go? We won't see it anymore, for our yellow has gone. But we will never forget the warmth and hues of our yellow. Thank you to our three readers and to Aesop Fung, who uh, authored the poem. I would like to welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2022, a class of exceptional ability and resilience, a class that overcame the interruptions caused by COVID, for which stood the loss of two gifted educators and a classmate who are receptive and welcoming to a new principal. They are a class worthy of the distinction that will be bestowed upon them this evening, and a class we all anticipate will achieve great success in the future. At this time, we would like to call our senior class president, Gianna Pizzulli, and our student council president, Mikey Dales, to acknowledge our honored guests and to share an inspirational message with the class of 2022.
Okay. President of the Board of Education, Ms. Diane Alley. Vice President, Mr. Joseph Bianco. Trustee, Ms. Pam DeFord. Trustee, Mr. Kevin Johnson. Trustee, Mr. Daniel Tu. Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Timothy Egan. Deputy Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction, Dr. Ralph J. Cartesano. Assistant Superintendent for Personnel and Administrative Services, Dr. John T. Craig. Administrator for Pupil Personnel Services, Dr. Danielle Colby Rooney. Assistant Administrator for Pupil Personnel Services, Ms. Lori Tosi. And Assistant Superintendent for Business, Ms. Shannon Meehan. High School Interim Principal, Mr. Neil Lederer. <laughs> Assistant Principal, Mr. Jason Gallardi. <laughs> Assistant Principal, Mr. Corey Mamolito. <laughs> and Assistant Principal, Mr. Tom McGrann. Athletic Director, Mr. William Deniston. <laughs> Parkview Elementary School Principal, Mr. Kevin Storch. <laughs> RJO Intermediate School Principal, Mr. Rudy Maxwell. <laughs> William T. Rogers Middle School Principal, Ms. Lori Moreno. <laughs> William T. Rogers Middle School Assistant Principal, Mr. Kenneth. <laughs> Kings Park Classrooms Teacher Association President, Mr. Christopher Phil. Senator Mario Matera. <laughs> and Councilwoman Lisa Inzarello. Deanna Pizzulli has served admirably as president of the class of 2022. At this time, it is an honor to have her address the class today. There are many words that I could use to describe the moment of high school graduation, but for me, the one that sums it up the best is freedom. Most of us are or are going to be turning 18, the official age of adulthood, giving us the official freedom to live our lives as adults. I came across a list of freedoms for adults and I wanted to share with you all of you that I want you to consider. The freedom to act upon your own decisions, the freedom to protest unfair treatment or criticism. The freedom to not have to justify yourself to others. The freedom to make mistakes. The freedom to protect your privacy. The freedom to say, I don't know, I don't understand, I don't care, and no. The freedom to nourish your body according to your own preferences the freedom to ignore the advice of others, the freedom to be acknowledged as a person who contributes to society, no matter how small that contribution may be, the freedom to love who you want to love, the freedom to the fulfillment of sex, the freedom to ask for help or emotional support, the freedom to choose not to respond to a situation, the freedom to break the rules as long as you are willing to suffer the consequences. The freedom to decide your own responsibilities. The freedom to set your own standards. The freedom to change your mind or decide a different course of action. The freedom to not have to anticipate others' needs and wishes. 
and most importantly, the freedom to make a difference. Dr. Lesser believed that we are the generation that will change the world for the better. She called us change makers. I hope all of us here today will prove her right. We must, and especially because of what happened today, we must use our voices, abilities, and motivation to fight racism, inequality, poverty, and injustice. And so, so much more. Now we have the freedom to get to work. And after last week's tragedy, I sat down to write a different speech. One about loss and suffering and how difficult life is. But then I thought about Isabel. Isabel was the epitome of freedom. She always spoke her mind and stood up for what she believed in. She knew how important it was to live your best life to the fullest. So, to the graduating class of 2022, go out and live your best life and live it to the fullest just like Isabel did. Congratulations to us. Thank you, Gianna. Very well said. That was an excellent speech. Mr. Michael Bales, a student council president, has led our school with great distinction. Please welcome him as, as he offers a message to his fellow graduates. Good evening, class of 2022, and all parents and guests. My name is Mikey Bayless, and I feel blessed to be a classmate for the past 13 years of all the graduates sitting in front of you today. It has also been an honor to be a part of their student council for the past two years. 13 years ago, we all walked into kindergarten not even knowing what it meant to graduate or what the 22 meant at the beginning of our computer username. And four years later, we all stepped into RGO, meeting all new friends that we would spend the next nine years of our life with. And here we all are, nine years later, for the last time as students on the turf field where memories were constantly made at sporting events, pep rallies, and so much more. As a grade, we have experienced a lot throughout the years. Most notably the loss of Mrs. Paternastro, Mr. McDermott, Dr. Lesler, and our very own classmate, Mrs. Solidarity is one of the reasons that we all made it to this very stage today. Most of us were down in the dumps during our sophomore and junior years due to COVID, and we could only wish that we could have a great senior year. I think it's safe to say that most of our wishes were granted, and I believe we made the most out of this last year together. As many of us here believe is true, I know we were often thought as the mischievous class, and not many people believed in us. But with 280 of us graduating today, I think we proved them wrong. Class of 2022, I know we will all move forward to be extremely successful and live up to our greatest potential. Out in the crowd today, I can see the future lawyers, doctors, engineers, police officers, and actually, if you look a little further, you can unfortunately see the high price for a gallon of gas. As you all move out to the real world, I think it's important for us to remember each and every class member of the class of 2022 as we all played a special role in each other's lives. The last thing I want to leave you off with today is a quote that I think we can all relate to from none other than Daryl Philbin from the TV show The Office. On his last day of work at Dunder Mifflin, Daryl said, Every day when I came into work, all I wanted to do was leave. So why in the world does it feel so hard to leave right now? Class of 2022, good luck and thank you. Thank you, Mikey. 
to offer remarks to the class of 2022 on behalf of the Board of Education and to introduce the salutatorium and valedictorium. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the Vice President of the Board of Education, Mr. Joseph Bianco. Good evening. On behalf of the Kings Park Board of Education, congratulations to the class of 22, 20, class of 2022, their friends and families. Over the past years, months, and even weeks, your journey has been unlike any other. Through triumph and tragedy, and nearly everything in between, you have shown grace, poise, pride, and compassion. And you've done it together and for one another. We are humbled by the way you've carried yourselves, and so proud of all of you and all that you've accomplished. As you move forward from here, leverage these experiences to see hardship as a time that you may be able to lift someone else up, and to see the challenges can present opportunities, just as you have done here at King's Park. Finally, take the time to celebrate accomplishments, as we are here tonight, knowing that your community, your friends, and your family are always here for you. Again, congratulations to the class of 2022. You are truly an amazing group. It is now my distinct honor to introduce Ms. Emma Shaw, our salutatorian. Emma is an outstanding. <laughs> Emma is an outstanding and gifted student with a GPA of 106.53. She will be attending the University of Virginia and majoring in pre-med. Emma has challenged herself with a demanding course load having taken 13 advanced placement courses. Active in student council and athletics, Emma has managed her time most effectively. A natural leader, she is captain of our tennis team, as well as being vice president of our student council, co-president of the independent science research program, vice president of Science Olympiad, treasurer of the Spanish Honor Society, and press secretary of mock trial and model UA. Impressive, all the things she's able to accomplish. Bright, mature, and driven, Emma has a perspective on the world that is forward-thinking and far-reaching. It is an honor for me to introduce this truly gifted and model student, Kings Park High School's salutatorian for the class of 2022, Miss Emma Shore. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of our graduating class and community, I would like to take a moment to reflect upon those we have lost this year, which includes Mrs. Pattern Ostro, Dr. Lesler, and most recently, our friend Isabel. We will really miss them. I would like to thank our principal, Mr. Letterer, the school administrators, our teachers, and staff whose efforts have led us to this day. I also want to express our appreciation to our parents and family members who have encouraged us and counseled each of us, providing valuable guidance and support to address our personal doubts and anxieties as we advance throughout our high school years. I would especially like to acknowledge a debt of gratitude to Dr. Karen Lessler, who is both my teacher and my principal, and whose wisdom and guidance encouraged me and inspired me. In the immortal words of Forrest Gump, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. The truth of this quote is simultaneously the best and worst parts of life. As we leave Kings Park High School, we truly don't know what lies ahead. We are now transitioning from our comfort zone, our tight-knit high school community, to what some may refer to as the real world. For some of us, that means going off to college, doing our own laundry, and sharing a room with someone for the first time. Others will go on to the rigors of military basic training, and yet others may start a new job. Exciting? Yes. Scary? Definitely. 
Today, what is most striking to me is not the ways in which we are different, but instead the commonalities that we all share. We may not have been in the same classes, but we have passed each other in the halls, sat together in the auditorium, been on a team together, or taken the same school bus. All that we have been through these last 12 years, especially throughout high school, has created a special bond between us. This connection has taught me the true meaning of community. It's not just a place, but instead a group of people. I may not be the most qualified to give you advice, but I can tell you some of the things that I have observed and applied that have made my life better. A smile goes a long way. A thank you is always appreciated. Listen and let people know you hear them. Be open to differences. Life would be boring if we were all the same. If you fail, get right up and start again. These ideas have helped me grow as a person as I have moved forward in my life. I want to sample all of the chocolates that Forrest Gump referred to. They're all different, but the same in some ways as well, like all of us here on graduation day. As you move away from our Kings Park mess, find people who embrace your ideals, have your back, and value your friendship. When you do, I am sure you will find the same comfort of community that we all share today in Kings Park. And no matter what, the Kings Park community will always be yours, no matter how far you go. Good luck, class of 2022. And remember, once a Kingsman, always a Kingsman. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Very inspiring speech and great, great advice. Now it is my great pleasure to introduce Ms. Talia Matanti, the Kings Park High School Class of 2022 Valedictorian. <laughs> Talia is an extraordinary young lady. Her weighted GPA is a lofty 107.12. Let that sink in for a minute. 107.12. She has a passion for learning and challenging herself to excel. Talia has earned honors in LOC for languages other than English, as well as in science, and has taken 13 advanced placement courses. Her critical thinking and writing skills are exceptional. She has participated in the Columbia Science Honors Program and has served as an intern with two different doctors at Stony Brook University Hospital. As, at Stony Brook, she has done research analyzing EEG waves, Currently, Talia is working in a project involving equine therapy in veterans with PTSD. She is a National AP Scholar with Distinction, a National Recognition Scholar, and a Coca-Cola Scholar semifinalist. She has been published in the Journal of Student Research, is President of the Computer Science Club, Co-President of the Independent Science Research Program. Finally, Talia is President of the Italian Honor Society and a member of the Science Club. I will be attending Boston College in the fall, pursuing a career in neuroscience. Like Emma, Talia's future is bright, and I cannot wait to see what they each accomplish next. With bright leaders like these, our future is in good hands. Please join me in welcoming to the podium, Kings Park High School's valedictorian for the class of 2022, Ms. Talia Matanti. friends and family, teachers and administrators, Dr. Egan and Board of Ed members, and of course, the graduating class of 2022. It is an honor and privilege to be here. All of my life, I've been an overachiever, a pleaser. Accordingly, my mom has dubbed me Hype Triple A since I've been on the go since day one. Literally, I was born three weeks early. For the most part, I've never quite grasped the fact that no is a full sentence. When you're a comfortable pleaser, it's rare to do something for yourself without an overwhelming feeling of guilt. You tend to lose yourself in the shuffle, forgetting to be in the moment. It's safe to say that my high school years weren't really about self-discovery. 
They've always been a series of mandatory tasks working toward this ultimate goal. And now that it's been reached, I find myself asking, what's next? I feel like I've reached the top of this great mountain, and I need to stop for a moment to appreciate the view, to appreciate all that I've been through, what we've been through, instead of moving on to the next climb like I typically do. Was it worth it? Sure, I've learned a lot and grew through the struggle, but now I'm tired, I'm drained. Am I fulfilled? Or was I just so caught up in the race that I missed out on some really meaningful moments? Honestly, I think I've come to terms with the fact that it's not the mountain to conquer, but rather ourselves. So after 12 years of doing for others, I'm now going to take this moment for myself. In fact, let's all take a moment for ourselves. I think we deserve it. Because what should have been a given, wasn't. A lot was taken from us. I'll take a moment and simply be. Maybe after everything that has happened this year, our only takeaway is not fun, but rather embracing every moment we have. Because it's been made crystal clear that our next climb is not guaranteed. We need to be now more than ever. We don't have control over much in our lives, but what we do have control over are our decisions. Even the small decisions, which sometimes we don't fully appreciate. We make 35,000 decisions every single day. They're like li life that stretch towards a great unknown. My decision today is to be, to be in the moment, to be present, just be, not to focus on becoming. I'd like to end with a meaningful message from our beloved Dr. Lesler that she had written to me a few years ago during the pandemic. Our perspective of events and day-to-day -day life is all that we have control of. Being positive shows your capacity to persevere and to be in control. That will bring you success in all that you do. There is no room for fear and negativity. Our mind is a tool for positivity and being present. We are always learning, which is most important. Congratulations to each and every one of you. My wish for you all is to be present each day, appreciating all the twists and turns that life presents us. Here's to the class of 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Talia. It's been an honor for me to be principal with this tremendous class. And Gianna, Mikey, Emma, and Talia are examples of the outstanding students that are before us today, and I salute them, and I'm very proud of them. To offer the principal's remarks, it's the dedicated and conscientious assistant principal of the class of 2022, Mr. Corey Mamalito. Good evening to all the 2022 Kings Park graduates, families, friends, faculty, and staff. My name is Corey Mamalito. I'm one of the assistant principals here at the high school. Though it is my honor to do so, it should have been our beloved Dr. Lessler giving the principal's marks at this time. This is a night of celebration for an outstanding class that demonstrated great resolve and spirit. I am uplifted by the class of 22, 2022's enthusiasm and drive to excel. You reflect the very essence of our school and our true kinsmen. I am proud to be your assistant principal. You have stood tall and achieved, and I will always remember this class as being very special. A former student of Dr. Lessler's, Mr. Mike Morello, posted a passage from John Gordon's book, The Power of Positive Leadership. This passage sums up what Dr. Lessler stood for and what she promoted to all students and faculty. No matter what anyone says, just show up and do the work. If they praise you, show up and do the work. If they criticize you, show up and do the work. If no one even notices you, show up and do the work. 
Just keep showing up, doing the work, and leading the way. Lead with passion. Fuel up with optimism. Have faith. Power up with love. Maintain hope. Be stubborn. Fight the good fight. Refuse to give up. Ignore the critics. Believe in the impossible. Show up. Do the work. You'll be glad you did. True grit leads to true success. Thank you, everyone. Our next speaker needs no introduction. He has led our district with great enthusiasm, energy, and vision. Please welcome our superintendent of schools, Dr. Timothy Egan. Good evening, Kings Park community. I am Dr. Egan with a brief commencement message. Each year in September, I open a new note in my Evernote account entitled Graduation Speech. And then I wait for something inspirational to happen during the course of the year, and I jot these things down on that note in Evernote. And around June 1st or so, I go back to that sheet and I begin to prepare my graduation speech. This year I came back to that sheet three times. Once in the fall, again in the spring, and then recently this past Monday evening. I will elaborate. In the fall, I, am, I found myself inspired by the words of Mark Durland, class of 2021 Athletics Hall of Fame inductee and class of 1990 Kings Park High School graduate. I was inspired by the concept who packs your parachute? By a show of hands, who has or would like to go skydiving someday? Jump out of a plane. If my wife were here, that would be on her bucket list. But as a former physics teacher, I know way too much about the science of acceleration and free fall. You see, when you jump out of a plane, you're going to accelerate towards the ground at negative 9.81 meters per second squared until you hit a velocity called terminal velocity, which is somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 to 120 miles an hour, depending on your body type. And you're going to hit the ground going this terminal velocity unless something really important happens along the way. Which would be what? Hopefully, your parachute opens. So who packed your parachute becomes really, really important if you're looking to jump out of a plane, go skydiving. Your parachute slows you down, makes the journey to the ground much, much more enjoyable and safer and your parachute is literally your lifeline as you slowly return to Earth. So class of 2022, I ask you, who packs your parachute? Who are the people you trust? Who really knows you? Who slows you down and makes sure that you stop and smell the roses? That you enjoy the journey? These are your people your personal parachute packers, or the triple P's as I like to refer to them. Class of 2022, what makes graduation tough is that many of you have parachute packers right here on this field and in the stands in front of us. And the scary thing is, is that some of your parachute packers may not be with you next year. And that's okay. Know that this is completely and utterly normal. Thankfully, we have cell phones, Zoom, FaceTime, cars, trains, planes, buses, and other technology to stay connected with each other. You will likely even add to your short list of parachute packers next year 
whether you are at college, in the workforce, or in the military. Don't worry, you got this. The important thing is continue to surround yourself with people who fit the definition of that parachute pattern. When I started my speech, I said I had three inspirational experiences this year. Karen Lessler was one of my personal parachute patterns. And I know that many of you here tonight feel the same way. She privately battled cancer for over a year and a half, and because she loved you and our youth so much, and what she called the work, her attendance and focus during a time of private struggle was impeccable only missing one day of work due to health-related reasons. She was an amazingly strong woman who inspired me. Do I miss Dr. Lessler? Absolutely. She will always be one of my parachute packers, reminding me to slow down and enjoy the journey and enjoy the work. A constant reminder of the importance of generating safe space for our youth and the importance of student voice in our schools. Dr. Lessler is a special parachute packer. In the toughest of times, she will remain in our hearts, as I know she will remain in yours. All we need to do is ask one important question. What would Karen do? And now for the last of the three experiences, the toughest one. This one came to me this past Monday evening. In grief, there was some degree of comfort. As I looked around at Cl Clayton's funeral home, I saw a community in mourning, but I also saw a strong community united as one family. As I have said many times in my eight years here as superintendent, no one does family like Kings Park. We are always here to pack each other's parachutes, we are Kings Park, and these are our people. I'm proud to serve your educational leader of our Kings Park family. Class of 2022, this has been a really tough year. But know that you always have support here in Kings Park. We are proud of you. We are strong. We are family. We are Kings Park. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Egan. It is now time for the class of 2022 to receive their diplomas. The presentation of the diplomas will be facilitated by members of the Board of Education and announced by faculty members Mr. Tom Nally and Mrs. Janine Rossi. Nicholas Carrico Nicholas Porinchak Mikey Bayless.
Kira Ann Johnson. Susan Hickey. Sarah McNaughton. Gianna Pizzuli. <laughs> Chloe Dunn. <laughs> Blake Bruner. Gianna Aducci. Brandon Aglietti. Michael Aitchison. Alicia Alfano. Alexandra Alonji. Lana Alzheimer. Nicholas Alzheimer. <laughs> Alexander Andre. Max Andre. Jacqueline Arena. Joe Ashatino. Dawson Atlas.
Caitlin Addison. Tyler Abelli. Brooke Ashley Baker. Lucas Baptiste. Robert Bennett. Mark Berlinbach. Sienna Bergman. Christina Billings. John Borkowski. Megan Foster. Madison Bach. <laughs> Elizabeth Brannigan. <laughs> Juliana Brendel. Cassidy Brown. <laughs> Thomas Bruch. Brandon Bruner. <laughs> Jennifer Buckley. <laughs> Jessica Burke. and Calabrese. Isabella Calderon. Patrick Califano. Ryan Callahan. <laughs> Paul Caligari. <laughs> Taylor Carangelo. <laughs> Isabel Carella, accepting the diploma for Isabel and her parents, Amy and her brother, Aiden.
Kerry Carlin. Ryan Carragher. Cynthia Carrera. Dean Casamasamia. Gabrielle Sacone. Ella Claire. Benjamin Cohen. Aiden Colagrande. Honor Corcoran. Ryan Chvian Power Samantha Darmody Matthew Del Antonio Michael Del Antonio Kyle Delatol Luke Duraney Jack Durasic Nia Dizon Michaela Donahue John Dowling Timothy Drago Mert Duman Samantha Egan Madison Engel Jacob Ettinger Lori Bauf Nicole Bill and Jerry
Julia Flynn. Presenting Julia's diploma is her grandmother, former board member, Mary Ann Flynn. James Fitzpatrick. Aiden Franzone. Anna Frost. Shannon Scahan. Marissa Gambali. Ava Genduso. Bianca Genduso. Francesca Gianfasso. Finnegan Gilbert. Peter Gilcrest. <laughs> Ashley Gill. Amanda Gerard. Lauren Getz. Caitlin Gonzalez. Angela Gonzalez Fuches. <laughs> Brian Green. Adam Rothman. Hunter Lee Ruzier. Vanessa Winieri. Sarah Gunn. Alexandra Gunning. Love you, baby sis! Brandon Guzman.
Emma Haas. Liam Hagen. Julia Hain. Lauren Hall. Victoria Hartog. Mallory Hayes. Emily Hedges. Israel Enriquez. Sarah Hoyt. Anson A.J. Hutzler. <laughs> Matthew Ambrosiano. <laughs> Melania Inzarello. Carla Iwaneko. Presenting Carla's diploma is her mother, King's Park Special Education aide, Tina Iwaneko. <laughs> Alyssa Cicino. <laughs> Carly Jackson. Jake Jackson. Love you, Jake. Dorothy Jones. <laughs> Anthony Judge. Paul Hall. <laughs> Jacob Kamen. <laughs> Shannon Kane. <laughs> Megan King. Olivia Kennedy. Presenting Olivia's diploma is her mother, Kings Park High School nurse, Janine Kennedy. <laughs> Madeline Knott. <laughs> Nicholas Critico. Nicholas Labida. Kimberly Landau.
Nicholas Laviano. Robin Lair. Isabella Leonard Doozy. Taylor Leosakis. Nicholas Nicholas Go Joshua Lynn Daniel Lopez Megan Major. Angie Maldonado. John Marco Vecchio. Liliana Marcus. <laughs> Hannah Martino. <laughs> Julia Marzoka. <laughs> Grace Messina. Deanna Mastro Giacomo. <laughs> Dominic Mastromonica. <laughs> John Matthews. <laughs> James McCormick. Sean McWilliams. <laughs> Presenting Sean's diploma is his father, RJO Head Custodian, Joe McWilliams. <laughs> Grace Mahalik. Gabriella Modica. John Muller. Olivia Montoya. Patrick Moser. <laughs> Ava Muffaletto. <laughs> Brendan Malady. Caroline Malady. <laughs> Paige Malady.
Sarah Munsinger. John Murray. Richard Murray. Eric Nielsen. Sophie Newark. Brianna Nickerson. Matt Nickerson. Nancy Nicolosi. Thomas John Nymphius. Emily Nunez. <laughs> James O'Connor. James Omelia. <laughs> Jacqueline Aurelia. <laughs> Jake Pace. Justin Padilla. <laughs> Emily Palmer. <laughs> Pan Christopher Panetta. Reed Paoli. Yeah. I love you, Pinehead. Vincent Papa. Zachary Pelletieri. <laughs> Joseph Persibali. <laughs> AJ Petritus. <laughs> Amelia Patrone. Colin Phelan. <laughs> Melina Piccarello. <laughs> Sophia Piccarello. <laughs> Polly Picciano. <laughs> Margaret Pickford.
Christopher Palat. Nicole Pinto. Plate. Andrew Plate. <laughs> Haley Polarchik. Daniela Popko. Caitlin Perrazzo. Yasin Kazmi. Kirsten Quigley. Jessica Rabinowit. Lauren Rabinowitz. Tasnia Rahman. <laughs> Abe Rantawa. <laughs> Logan Rainier. <laughs> Lily Rapp. Giovanna Rendy. Sarah Rocchio. Angela Romano. Jake Romer. Pasqual Rosamilia. <laughs> Mackenzie Rosario. <laughs> Rosalie Rosado. Kayla Roth. <laughs> Tyler Russo. <laughs> Isabella Sa- Oh. <laughs> Isabella Sabatino. Jason Sachs. <laughs> Olivia Sandstad. <laughs> Thomas Sandstad. Santa Sierra <laughs> Sit Get sit her
Rebecca Safer. There we go. Kirsten Scala. Emily Shively. James Cipolletti. Mavangi Celia. Daniel Shebshayevich. Connor Skews. Maya Smith. Michael Smith. Haley Soraz. Isabella Sotera. Calliope Subios. Benjamin Splain. Ava Stamler. Alexa Stillwell. Joseph Strang. Emily Stritzel. <laughs> Phoebe Schwartz. <laughs> Raquel Tansy. Presenting Raquel's diploma is Rudy Massimo, RJO Principal. John Tardino. Connor Tecker. Haley Petro. Connor Tubner. Logan Theofield. Brent Tinchard. Josh Tobias. Thomas Tracy. Catherine Truzinski. Aaron Tordo.
Tyler Urena. Valerie Van Schuyler. Evan Fiesta. Ava Vitali. Jack Vossler. <laughs> Kenneth Walden. <laughs> Nicholas Ward. Kevin Webb. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan Webb. Ryan Webb. Ryan Webb. Anthony Wetterburn. <laughs> Avery Widener. <laughs> Brian Weir. Presenting Brian Sakoma is his father, Kings Park High School security guard, Daryl Weir. James Wenzel. Corey Willem. Kendall Whitnabin. Olivia Wolf. Sydney Wong. Delaney Wozniak. Dylan Daniel. Bryn Zanowski. Vincent Sicardi. <laughs> Emily Zupan.
as the superintendent of the Kings Park Central School District. And on behalf of the members of the Board of Education, the high school principal, Mr. Letterer, and the high school faculty, it is my honor and privilege to present to you this evening the class of 2022. They have successfully completed all of their class requirements, credit mandates, and examinations dictated by the Commissioner of Education and the Board of Education of the State of New York. We ask that you confer on them the rights, responsibilities, and privileges signified by a high school diploma. Congratulations. And finally, your principal, Mr. Letterer. In the tradition of graduation ceremony, and as a symbol of this commencement, please move your tassels from left to right. As your principal, let me be the first to congratulate you. On the count of three, I will ask you to throw your caps in the air. One, two, three. Let it go. Congratulations. Go Kingsley!